Hey, check it out. I've got pink sauce. This was, uh, well, it was an internet fad for a while. It was uh, invented by, I think, a TikToker who was making it in her toilet or something, and people did videos trying it, and then later on it was revealed that because she was, uh, I, I was exaggerating when I said she made it in her toilet, but really did not take much care to make sure it was sealed or that it wouldn't go bad or... Well, Swell Entertainment did a video about that, link in the description. And more recently, Nick Duranio did a video, also link in the description. Like, either of them need my uh, support, right? <laughs> but in Nick's video, he mentioned that Chef P, as her name apparently is, made a deal with a corporation uh, to market this widely, and it was, uh, while they made it, apparently they stopped, available at Walmart. I thought, hey... I can find a Walmart, and sure enough, the Clearfield Walmart still had some, or had one, which might mean they currently have none. Anyway, uh, well, let's uh, look at the label first. Far from ordinary, from TikTok to table, shock your taste buds with flavor and thrill. Taste Chef P's famous sweet and tangy sauce, made vibrant with dragon fruit and spices. Are you ready to try the pink sauce that became an overnight internet sensation at Chef P? Gluten-free and vegan hashtag pink sauce. Twitter and uh, that's that's Instagram, right? I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, refrigerate after opening. That probably wasn't there originally. And I gotta say, I'm already disappointed. I mean, this is... Well, this is pink-ish. I mean, I assumed it would be some kind of a Pepto color or something. I mean, does it even fluoresce? I don't, don't think it does. I am in the parking lot of a sheet. I'm going to try to uh, dip several things into it. That's why I brought this. Uh, here we go. I think it's clean enough that it won't add to the taste. So, uh, oh boy. Mmm. Uh. Oh, there, there's where you open it. Hmm. Do I shake it first? I don't know. Um. Uh. Oh. Good thing I'm not driving while doing I shouldn't be driving while doing this anyway. Yeah, let's test it for fluorescence again here. I guess this goes in here, maybe. Ugh. Ugh. Smells like smells like salad dressing. Which well, what else would it smell like? Also, that's kind of a vague description. Smells like salad dressing. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa shoot! Ah, God. But I, I really, oh, oh boy, I don't think I. Although now this thing's un, in here upside down. Really need a uh, really a lot of editing. Oh, good. Hmm. I hope the uh, rest of the ceiling isn't as bad. So, well, why don't we start with a, just a pretzel, a soft pretzel. Will also maybe act as a palate cleanser in between things. So, try that. Uh, let's give this check the viscosity here. Uh, Um, mm. wow, um, ah, it is sweet and sour at the same time, but not in a good way, ah, ah. cleanse the palate a little bit, I can, mm. Mm. You know, it almost reminds me of a Kool-Aid, some, some, some kind of weird flavor of Kool-Aid. So next, let's test some fries with a Z because we're at Sheets. Hmm, yeah. Wow. All right, somehow a like Kool-Aid ranch or something. Ah, do we even want to try anything else? Sour 
sour cream, I'll use it for something, I won't use it for this, but you get one free dipper with an app sampler, so I, I don't want to FOMO and all that, or miss out free of phobia. I kind of prefer that one. Mm. Yeah. I've got tater tots, chicken, and mozzarella sticks. Well, I already tried a potato thing, so. Hmm, hope that cleared my palate enough. Should have brought some crackers. Hmm, wow. Again, some kind of a. Uh... Hmm, wow. It tastes like some kind of sour Kool Aid ranch. Hmm, I wonder if you know, those tater tots really work well as palate cleansers. I can still feel. A little stinging in the back of my throat, which, uh, well, if it was something that tasted better, I'd like. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Ah, once again. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Finally, mozzarella stick. See why this has been discontinued. Once it was easy to get, people realized just how awful it was. So, um, yeah, glad I brought the cap with it. Ugh. Now, can you imagine it tasting like that and containing botulism or whatever it was it had? Wish I could invent something that tastes awful and get rich and famous from it. Well, I guess now she's infamous, but um, I guess um, she's famous enough that it doesn't matter that they later added the in prefix. Now, I wanted to try one other thing with this, but uh, unfortunately I'm afraid the music will get me a copyright strike, so sorry. If I start a second channel.